What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. We have four new knives in here today for y'all. So we got a real fun video we're gonna do, but before we get too far into it, just wanna go ahead and say thank you to everyone who's already liked and subscribed to our channel. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below or the little logo in the corner. That'll subscribe to our channel, let you know we're making new content. We're gonna continue to make content. You might as well see it. And if you haven't, head over to Instagram, follow us there at workknifebalance939. It's a great way to contact us, get in touch with us. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. But also, um, we're going to be posting pictures and fun stuff like that, and we'll post when we have new videos over there as well. So thank you, everybody. Let's dive into the knives. I'm a little late to the game on these Migurons, but uh, I was able to swing by AZ USA, uh, one of the shops that I absolutely love down here in Arizona. Feel free to check them out at azusa.com. And um, they've actually got some sweet new stickers that they threw in with these knives. So um, I really like this one. It's got like the holographic look to it. AZ USA Blade Works. And then this guy right here. But yeah, um, I was able to head in there and they had a bunch of new Migurons that they got in. They are a dealer for Migurons. So um, when I saw these there, had to pick a couple of them up. I've already gotten into this one a little bit. So we'll start with this, but uh, I'm excited to show these off and give y'all first impressions on this. This one is the Acri, Miguron Acri pocket knife. So I'm excited for this one for sure. Gonna go ahead and set the box to the side. This one is solely a front flipper, um, but I absolutely love the look of it. It is very much a gentleman's knife. So you can go ahead and front flip that way. It's gonna be a liner lock as well. So you can do that, but it's got amazing front flip action that I was actually able to first try reach around and get it like that too. So really nice blade profile on this. You've got a good drop point there with the swedge coming up top. Uses 14 C28 steel. You can see that right there. G10 handles, liner lock there. Not an inset liner lock, so you can see it right there. So it get, is a little bit thicker. And then I don't know if this is steel or titanium or aluminum or what it is, but um, you have this milled clip on the back here. So that's pretty cool as well. Not an ambidextrous clip, uh, but you do have a little pivot there or a little collar there for a lanyard, which is cool. And then a nice backspace around it. Um, I've only had this one in my pocket for about, I would say 45 minutes <laughs> and I really enjoy it. It is a larger knife than I expected. If this is, I think if you've got larger hands, you might be able to reach around here and pull up on that, but it, it is a big knife. So holding it, I've got medium sized hands. I can't really quite get in there. Um, you can thumb flick from the front like that, front flipper. Um, and then you can also get in here and uh, use the pointer up top and get that over. So this is a fantastic one. Let's set these back real quick. Um, we'll go ahead and do a quick just kind of measurement on a couple of these just to give you good understandings. But this one's coming in at about eight and a half eight and a half inches on there. So that is a big knife. We'll do a full review after I've had some chance to really get this pocket time and everything. But overall first impressions, I love it. Um, I really like the feel to this G10. It is super smooth. Um, you can kind of see a little bit, there's not much texture. It is very smooth, but you can see the uh, like patterns, the striations in the G10 there. Almost has like a wood striation to it, which is really nice. And I like this, I don't know if it's copper or bronze or whatnot on the back here. It just kind of stands out, gives it a little extra color. It's a very, very classic look to it. Very, I don't know, like I said, it's a gentleman's knife. Not not slim enough to necessarily be like a pen knife or um, something like that. But this is definitely an easy carry. Really, really great action on that front flipper right there. This isn't quite drop shutty, but it does shut down pretty easily and it is dead nuts centered there. So let's go ahead and use this to open up the next one. And this next one, I'll cut down at the bottom, that way we don't cut that tab. I have no idea, never actually um, held this one or looked at it yet, so we'll see what it is when we get in here. I know I got the mayoral in here somewhere. Um, and then we ended up getting one of their higher premium knives in the AM8 over here as well. So let's get into this guy. Looks like this is the Pagos, the Pagos, Pagos. So the Miguron Pagos. 
uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, Miguron gives you this nice professional, reasonable, satisfactory, and then has all of his links there to follow everything. Um, just kind of production quality and products there and everything. You get the knife, comes in a nice little pouch. It comes on that little thing there and then lets you know everything has been QC checked. So it looks like we have another front flipper right here. Um, but you also have front flipper, but you also have a thumb stud. So uh, that's pretty good action, actually. Set this in here. That was pretty good. I like that. Another liner lock. That actually, I mean, that's really nice. Dead centered. I, so I got this one because it was um, there. <laughs> and I loved the way. I don't, I was talking with uh, one of the guys there, Jay at the shop. And I was like, I don't know what I would use this blade shape for. And we kind of got to talking about, this is kind of like a skinning knife blade shape, I guess. I don't know. But I really love the look of it, just the straight back all the way across. It looks fantastic. I just don't, I don't know how useful that blade shape is for me on an EDC personally. So uh, it, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't know how useful it is for me on an EDC. Uh, that front flip's a little tough for me, but let's see if we can do the same on this one. Yeah, so we can get that there. This is a much smaller knife than that first one that we looked at there, but I mean, I felt that on my thumb nail that came down first. This thing is sharp. Ooh, that was fantastic placement. Oh my gosh, that just shoots out there. Wow, that reverse flick, that's how I would open this knife. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. That just, it is almost, I mean, it, that is, that is some really nice action on that reverse flick. That is how, I should be opening most of my knives. That thumb comes out really nice and easy as well there um, for the front flip and then the thumb stud as well. But that, that detent just shoots it out. That is, I mean, it's, it's almost too soft, but I don't, I'm not gonna say that because I love knives like that. Um, we're sitting at 14C28 as well. Nice thumb studs. Um, a lot of, I actually really like the way that they kind of, this almost looks like uh, Legos stacked on, those little Lego lights stacked on each other right here as they come through. But I really love the look of those, the thumb studs and the feel to them as well. Yeah. Got some jimping on the top, up and over. Now, if you have seen any of the other channels who look at this, um, there is a channel out there who will tell you this is a cardinal sin for a front flipper. You need to have jimping come all the way across. And I have come to agree 100% with that. Um, I don't think this fuller really does anything more than aesthetics when it's in here. It's like, it's, it's blocked in there. You're not going to use that fuller for anything. I guess if you wanted to, you could come in here and pinch grab the fuller from right there, but that's about it. Another liner lock. This one does have an ambidextrous clip to it so that you can have that milled clip right there. Flip it over to the other side if you wanted to, but Let's go ahead and do a quick measurement of this one as well. Seven and a half on that one. That's an easy measurement with the straight back. Seven and a half inches for sure. We'll do another full review on these as we come up. We might do a fast full review on a couple of these Migurons, um, but we'll do a full review on them definitely coming up with some comparisons and everything. So uh, first impressions though, I really, the Urcos are really nice. This is a much larger, I guess finger spot on this back right here. If you had that jimping a little bit further down, you'd be able to have a little bit more on the back here. You don't necessarily need it um, with it being that flat back. And I mean, these are stout knives. You can see it's a little bit, I mean, this is a, this is a beefy boy. This is built a little bit heavier than some of the others that you'll see out there for the same price range. This is, it feels good in hand. It is a small knife. It's not like, tiny but it is uh it does feel smaller in hand that is that, i'm so impressed with that action now i'm kind of that oh and that shut down pretty good as well too now i'm kind of disappointed that i'm so late to the game because <laughs> these are these are fantastic oh man i really like this 
And I think you can get this in a couple different colors as well. So I don't quote me on prices exact. I will try and link them down below for you. I think that first one was mm, around 50. Uh, this one, same thing, around 50. And uh, the next one we're about ready to open up, which is the mayoral, if I remember correctly, is around 50 as well. So fantastic little knives so far. I have nothing bad to say about Miguron so far. And this is just, I mean, that, oh, I could flip that all day. That is fantastic. After, ugh, still, see, that thumb is the only thing that I'm, and I'm not the best with front flippers. Y'all know that. You've seen it. So that little reach around with the finger is a lot easier for me. But, but you, oh, I mean, that is so good. I really like this one. That's for sure. I'll go ahead and set that to the side and get this third one open. I'm going to try and do this in a semi-fast video for y'all so you don't have to sit around and listen to me gamble and gab too long. But um, same as the first two, you get a cool little card. Um, comes in a nice little box here. These second blue boxes are a little bit nicer than the first one, that's for sure. All right, so this is the Miguron Mayoral, and I really like that little spidey hole there, and I really like that blade shape too. Oh man, that blade shape is one of my favorites. I really like it. It reminds me of my uh, Pulsar kind of. My, from Kunwu, that reminds me of my Pulsar kind of from Kunwu, but I really like that. You have a really nice finger and sharpening choil. You can choke up on that thing very well. That feels fantastic in hand. This is a really nice knife for sure. Only the one deployment method. Um, you can get in there with a finger or a thumb, so you can do the reverse flick or thumb it out if you want to, but that one's pretty much dead nut centered as well. So that Meteoron coming in hot with some really fantastic knives. 14C28N, G10 on the scaling there. So I got that green G10 there. And I really love his logo too. Um, he has it milled in here on the pivot collar, or sorry, on the pivot itself. I, mean, it, I really like that. I think it actually looks pretty cool. So yeah. Reversible pocket clip there, so you can put that on both sides. I like how for a budget knife, um, every time we say that, I think people think the knives are cheap, and I want people to understand that just because it has budget in front of it doesn't mean it's actually a cheap knife. These are fantastic, and I don't mean cheap as in price. And like it is, this is good quality. Just because we say it's budget doesn't mean it is not good quality. This is a fantastic quality knife here. Um, Oh, really good pinch grip, really good choking and holding up like that. You can hold it back here, fantastic too. Reverse grip feels really good. Yeah, I like that. I like because uh, even though he has these as a, as a budget knife in that budget category, you still get a really quality clip on here. You get some quality material. 14C28 isn't a super steel. There's nothing crazy fancy about it, but um, it is probably one of the best mid-range steels out there in my opinion um i mean everyone's entitled to their own opinion but that is really good i i don't know how i feel about the i think that's a bead blasted finish on it i don't know how i feel about the bead blast finish on this blade i probably would have liked a satin finish but i really like satin finishes or maybe like a a rock tumble acid wash with a rock tumble in there might do something like that just because it would give it a little bit more ruggedy look to it. I think the satin would be nice because it would match these liners a little bit better. So does have the inset liners in here. You can see on the top right there, those are kind of milled out for or skeletonized out for weight. And then you have this retention here so you can have a little bit easier access. He cuts it down. He did the same on the other one over here as well. Cut it down right there so you've got easy liner lock access. Um, so that is another thing that's fantastic and easy to worry or easy to handle. You don't have to worry about that as well. But let's go ahead and get into the last one. And this one is one that I am super excited for. Um, this one is a little bit more expensive. I believe this one comes in at a higher price of about 180. Uh, so 
not in that budget category, but a fantastic knife. Um, I am excited to open this one up for sure. So this one comes with a cleaning cloth and here's the knife itself. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for this one. This one's cool. I really like the box. Not that it does anything because those are just going to go in a drawer with all the other boxes. Ooh, really good front flip there. And I like how, as opposed to that first one, you have multiple deployment methods, not just the front flip. This feels so good. I can't really get in there. Oh, look at that, I ripped my nail a little bit. Can't really get in there with my thumb. It's a little too thin. It's a little too thin for me to get in there with my thumb. Slow roll it out for sure, but can't get in there with the thumb on that one. I can reverse it, so that's really nice. But I, please somebody tell me what this blade shape is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's something cool, that's for sure. Some sort of modified, I don't know. Modified clip point, I guess. You got this coming down here with that coming up. Is that or, or an aggressive clip point? Yeah, probably something like that. But I, this is a fantastic knife. Whew, I really like that. All right, so let's look at this real quick. You've got the milled titanium with a fantastic, let's see if you can see some of the texture in here, really good chamfering around the edges. This fits really nice in hand. That clip sits just off the liner, so you don't have to worry about pressure on the backside, which is nice when you're holding it. It's, I mean, it's close, it's close, but it is off the liner, so that is really nice right there. Not a very, I mean, a really good blade stock, but not a very hefty knife. It's not thick by any means. Um, really cool titanium backspacer in here. So I like that as well. And then you have this shred carbon inlay. Almost looks like a bolster at the top, but a shred carbon inlay around the pivot. Pivot does kind of sit above it. It's not necessarily flush, but that's not a make it or break it for me. Um, yeah, this is a fantastic knife. M8 logo on the top there. And, ooh, we're playing with M390. So this one's gonna be a much more premium steel coming in as well. So 180 for the titanium frame lock with M390. This is a nice knife. This is a really nice knife. That modified clip point in there, that is that is really cool. I like that a lot. I don't know. I don't know what that hole is. I don't know what that hole's for though. I mean, you're <laughs> you're not gonna put a lanyard there. There's not like a secondary, I'm, I'm curious, I wanna know. If anybody knows what that hole is, please comment and let me know. I don't know what that hole would be used for other than, I mean, yeah, I guess maybe you could put like a pin through there so it doesn't lock open, but still it would have to go all the way to there before it locks itself out. It's not like it's gonna stop. Yeah, I'm really curious what that hole is for. I don't, I didn't see it, maybe. Is there anything in the box to talk about it? No? Just the cleaning cloth and the little certificate of authenticity card. But this is the M8 Kovig, M8 Kovig knife. So I, I really like this. This is fantastic. Ergos feel really good in hand. Nice jumping on the back here. You can choke up. If you need to, you can kind of even get in. Not that I would hold a knife this way, but because of that uh, recurve in here, you can kind of feel that really well. Choking up pinch grip. It is a little bit smaller, but you don't have to. I mean, this, this feels good. You can choke up here if you need to. Uh, huge hands, you'd probably feel a little bit there, but you can choke up if you need to. This feels really good, really premium quality to what it's looking like here as well. So do a quick measurement on this one. I think we missed the mayoral, but that's okay. We'll come back. From tip to tail, we're looking at about seven and a half inches. 
Mm, close to three, just over three and a quarter, 3.3 .3 on the blade size, 2.75 on the cutting edge there. So a little bit smaller of a knife, but definitely, this is definitely an EDC for me. Even with that, uh, I guess, modified clip point blade style there, I would say I would still carry this. This looks fantastic and feels fantastic. So yeah. Wanted to try and keep this video under 20 minutes. Looks like we're hitting 20 minutes right now. So we'll go ahead and line these up for you. We've got the AM8 Kovig. We've got the Pagos from, we've got the Mayoral. And we have, forgive me, what was this first one called again? Acri from Miguron here. So three Miguron and the AM8 right there. They are all same company. Same manufacturer, I believe, um, coming through there. Just the more premium of them right there. We'll go ahead and get some full reviews of these up here soon. But I wanted to unbox these and get these out for you all to see. So, yeah. Tell me what you think. Which one would you like? Which one would you buy? These three over here, we'll get prices below, I think, are around $50. Uh, this one right here is closer to that 180 range. So, fantastic knives. Not much negative to say about them at all, really. They are just beauties in themselves. And I... I'm looking forward to carrying these and seeing how well they do on an EDC quality. So thanks again. Till next time, TTFN.